All right, and we're hopping back into another weekly match versus Krimis. Krimis the Grimace. We're going to build you for now or you? Let's just build you. I forgot what super auto I am. Uh, I was trying to go for a soak earlier, and I thought it'd be really funny to go for a fish soak. And I'm just going to be the first one to say it. It is not that funny. <laughs> it is not that funny to go that. I would not recommend it. It is not for the faint of heart. Beautiful. And let's see. I'm not really interested in any of these. Sure. I'm looking for a mouse. Beautiful. I don't care what I hit next. Go ahead. Oh, I need to remember I'm doing a rank game now. Oh my gosh, I played so much of Arena recently. All of it just unusable footage because of all the mistakes I made. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just hop me into here. Uh, okay, I need to start playing around my opponent though. Go ahead. You're going to build Bulldogs? Ugh. Yuck. We do not like Bulldog players. Not because it's hard to go against it, but we just don't respect the unit bulldog. Take you, take you, roll one. Take a worm, and my turn. And then what do I want here? I want to go ahead and get a giraffe. Ogapi is really strong. Puppy's good. I can go for deer, crow, turtle. There's a couple of good choices here. Poodle's amazing. Stegosaurus one-ups Poodle, surprisingly. I'm very shocked at just how strong Stegosaurus is. It's a pretty insane unit. We'll see. Damn, man. Oh, I cannot believe all the losses I had going for fish. I had the perfect lineup, a level 2 penguin buffing it, a level 2 monkey. I was rolling for fishes, and then I lost. <laughs> And then I lost. And mentally it crushed me. Kill. Beautiful. We're getting a lot of good early wins. Is that Was that a 1-6? It was a 1-6. That's pretty interesting. He must have sold the duck for it. By you. I still think I roll for this. Maybe. And this whole time, I've been buffing my worm with my cone snail. Oh, I, I always mess up on using cone snail. Why? Why am I so bad at using a cone snail? It's not a tricky unit to use. That's, that's so odd that I'm so bad at it. Beautiful. Look at this. Oh, dumb. And I lose because of it. No. Garlic onto you, always. I think I sell you for the chance to buff you. I move you. I like African Penguin a lot. But you're technically better. Are you? Somewhat. There's definitely arguments to say that isn't the play to do. And I believe you. Um, the bad thing is, after it attacks, it triggers instead of after my porcupine activates its ability. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so I'm doing good now. He does have scaling. But if I buy a apple, or just this, so I can skip the apple, I can negate his scaling. A crow is really nice. Freeze you. I could make a crow work where I sell a cone snail, buy you, sell you, go four squad again, go all in on this porcupine, freeze a deer, a deer is amazing. I really like going starfish, but not for this run. And then hitting six damage is phenomenal. Uh, it won't be a one hit kill on you, which is kind of sad, but this is still really good. I could start widening my scaling by buffing my ox now, and I'll be buffing it with a 2-2, which is really strong. He's not buffing his bulldog, but he's going bulldog, so it's just it's just a weird unit. Oh, he sold it. I don't blame him for that. 
Really? The goldfish is going to kill me? That's surprising. Uh, but completely plausible. Start buffing you. Do I sell you for a... I think I do. I want to get you all attack buffs. Skunk is really tempting. But this is even better. No. Yes. No. Keep you frozen. Maybe. You're not a bad pick no matter what, so just keep you in stock anyway. But if I can get a level 2 giraffe, that'd be amazing. I should really be playing around that toilet paper. I didn't realize that that's what he's been doing this whole time. And he's got another toilet paper run coming, so do this. Buff you. Yeah, go wide here. I could get a plus one, plus one on you. I'm not doing this. So stop freezing it. I could buff you. Go and attack on you. That's not bad. Because I just want as much attack on you as I can. A skunk is good, but if I'm not going to be playing it anytime soon, then why am I freezing it? And that goldfish is becoming a huge pain in the ass. Nice. Then I swap you. McKay is extremely strong. That's definitely something to consider for late game. Uh, I can go this onto you. I could go level 2 deer. That's fine. I could do something really funny where I freeze a McKay until I get it to the next level. Oh, I missed a poodle. Uh, but this isn't a good poodle comp. That's okay. That's okay. I hate missing poodles, but it is not worth it going poodles this round. And let's see. That's no good. That's really good. We've got two more HP left to go. Buffing use nice. Uh, that's actually extremely good. I will buff... I just need you to not die to that. That's how I don't die to that. Then I sell you. Isn't that just amazing on you? If you have more attack, you trigger before you, right? So then I get the hammerhead shark. It's not worth doing all that for that. I think I sell you. I go hammer or go white tiger. Go chocolate onto you. Freeze a mantis shrimp. Unfreeze it. Freeze a scorpion and my turn. And then I think that the white tiger is going to do really good. Let's see. A level 2 one, huh? That's terrifying. But a bus is even more terrifying. And what I do now to ruin his game... Is I do this. This is an asshole move. Oh man, this is going to be funny. If this works, which I think it will, this is going to be very funny. And then what do I do here? I freeze you. I put some pancakes on you. I put a tomato on you because it's at the end of the game. And then I win. And... I kill him in a very shitty manner, which will be extremely funny. Oh, okay, this is still fine. Oh, look, because that hits back, right? Oh, yeah. That's a way to win. <laughs> oh, I'd be fuming. I would be salivating at the mouth right now. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Wow. Let's see. Nice.